Welcome back to the channel bringing you the latest news from around the world. I bet you didn't know China is building a $10 billion canal that could change the face of Asian trade forever. In Guangxi province the Pinglu Canal is taking shape. A colossal construction site buzzing with energy. Giant excavators and thousands of workers carve a new waterway through the red earth, forging a direct link from inland China to the sea. This isn't just another infrastructure project. It's a bold move to transform trade in southern China. Every day the canal stretches further, with trucks hauling away earth and concrete mixers pouring the foundations for massive ship locks. Engineers pore over digital blueprints, solving complex challenges to keep the project on track for its 2026 deadline. The Pinglu Canal is more than a ditch. It's a new economic artery, designed to pump prosperity into Southeast Asia. Workers know they're building more than a canal, they're building a future for their communities. As night falls, floodlights keep the site alive, the momentum unstoppable. This is a story of ambition and ingenuity, reshaping geography to match economic aspirations. The Pinglu Canal stands as a symbol of China's determination to build new paths to prosperity. It's a declaration, China is on the move, forging stronger ties with its neighbors. The world is watching as a new chapter in regional trade unfolds. The Pinglu Canal is a man-made waterway in Guangxi, connecting the Xijiang River to the Beibu Gulf, a shortcut to the sea. For centuries, inland cities like Nanning faced long, costly routes to reach the South China Sea. The canal changes that, offering a direct southern passage. Stretching 134 kilometers from Hangzhou to Qinzhou, it's designed to boost Western China's economy by making exports and imports faster and cheaper. The canal can handle ships up to 5,000 tons allowing cargo to move seamlessly from river ports to international waters. Three advanced ship locks including the massive Madao lock lift vessels over changing elevations. This project is a $10 billion investment in infrastructure, aiming to turn the region into a major logistics hub. It's a key part of China's plan to develop its western provinces and integrate them with global trade. The Pinglu Canal is more than a waterway, it's a strategic move to secure China's economic future. It strengthens supply chains, creates jobs, and connects millions to new opportunities. The canal is a vital piece in China's vision for long-term growth. Building the 134-kilometer Pinglu Canal is a feat of engineering on a massive scale. Over 339 million cubic meters of earth are being moved, more than six times the volume of the Three Gorges Dam. Construction began in 2022, with completion set for 2026, a rapid timeline for such a colossal project. Thousands of workers and advanced machinery operate around the clock, demonstrating China's construction prowess. The canal is built for five 000-ton ships, turning inland cities into seaports and slashing transportation bottlenecks. 28 large bridges span the waterway, each engineered for both height and strength. The project is a carefully coordinated network of channels, locks, and bridges. The Pinglu Canal is one of the world's largest transportation projects, signaling its strategic importance. It's a bold step in connecting China's interior to the global economy. At the heart of the Pinglu Canal are its innovative ship locks, especially the colossal Madao Lock. This lock acts as a water elevator, lifting five 000-ton ships over dramatic elevation changes. Its advanced water-saving basins recycle over 60% of the water used, making the canal far more sustainable. The lock's massive, precision-engineered gates and automated control systems ensure safe, efficient operation. These innovations set a new standard for eco-friendly infrastructure. The Madao Lock and its counterparts are the keys that make the canal possible, enabling seamless navigation from river to sea. This focus on sustainability and efficiency is a source of national pride. The Pinglu Canal proves that large-scale projects can be both powerful and environmentally responsible. It's a showcase of China's technological prowess. The canal's engineering is redefining what's possible in modern infrastructure. The Pinglu Canal's true power lies in its ability to reshape trade with Southeast Asia. ASEAN is one of China's biggest trading partners, and the canal slashes shipping distances by over 560 kilometers for inland cities. This direct route to the Beibu Gulf means faster, cheaper exports and imports, making Chinese goods more competitive. 
Businesses in Western China gain new access to international markets, while ASEAN countries enjoy quicker entry to China's vast consumer base. The canal creates a highly efficient trade corridor strengthening economic ties and supply chains across the region. It's a cornerstone of China's new international land-sea trade corridor, linking rail, road, and sea routes. The Beibu Gulf is set to become a major international shipping hub. The Pinglu Canal is transforming the economic geography of southern China and Southeast Asia. It's about integration, opportunity, and mutual growth. A new era of regional trade is underway. The Pinglu Canal is often compared to the Panama or Suez canals, but its focus is regional, not global. It's designed for five 000-ton ships, smaller than the supertankers of Panama or Suez, serving China and Southeast Asia. The canal is a game-changer for regional logistics, not a competitor to global shipping routes. It embodies the spirit of China's Belt and Road Initiative building infrastructure to boost connectivity and influence. The Pinglu Canal strengthens China's ties with its neighbors and anchors a more interconnected regional economy. Its impact will be felt most in the economic relationship between China and ASEAN. The canal creates jobs, lowers costs and fosters new trade and cooperation. While it won't change global shipping maps, it will redraw the economic landscape of its region. The Pinglu Canal is a powerful statement of China's ambition and its central role in Southeast Asia's future.